Do you like one shots? Do you run one shots? Do you know what a one shot is? I guess is the first question. I love D&D one shots and I had an insight today that I would love to share with you all. So stay tuned as I get to that here in just a moment. And first, let me say hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Gregory and welcome to D&D Daily number 120, which is super cool. That's another sort of milestone, I think. That means like that's four times 30, which essentially means I've been doing this for four months. That's kind of cool. That feels awesome. And thank you for being along for the ride. And as you probably already know, and if you don't, well, let me tell you, this is 1 in 20 D&D. Yo, so let's get right into this. I had a thought today. I love one shots. They're a lot of fun. They're a great way to meet new people and try out new ideas that you might have for a character or if you're a DM try out new ideas that you have that you might want to incorporate into a bigger, broader campaign or that you just want to try but maybe not have some huge investment in in regards to like time time and effort to get it, you know, into, get it integrated into a bigger campaign. So here was the thought that I had. I thought, I'm going to link... A video that I did that's called Easy Character. Well, let's see, what did I call it? Easy Encounter Creation, I think. And I want to make this a little more specific to one shots. Now, that one's great for just creating an encounter. And you could sort of use the same mechanic to create a one shot. But here was what really kind of sparked my imagination today specifically in regard to one shots what i was thinking is this what if you take the approach of well almost like a ranger has sort of a their favored terrain what if you picked an environment and that was the sort of foundation for your ones for your one shot like I think a really simple way to create a one shot would be like, it's a forest one shot. So what's going to happen in a forest? And then you kind of dig into that and it would obviously flavor your enemies, your encounters and, and all of those sort of things. Or I was all, like today, I happened to be specifically thinking about a desert. Like, well, I wonder, I was looking at some images of the Sphinx, like, the Sphinx, right? Egypt and all that. And I thought, you know, I guess, you know, it'd be kind of cool to do a one shot that had this sort of desert. Like now, obviously you could go into like Chult, but I thought like, wow, wouldn't it be cool to do a desert themed? It could be totally generic, right? It doesn't have to be Chult for, you know, on Faroon. It could just be a desert anywhere on any world. You know, you don't have to make it specific if you're doing a one shot. It makes it a little easier, although it's just as easy to throw it in Faerun or whatever, because, you know, a desert could be just about anywhere in Faerun. There's plenty of deserts on Faerun. So wouldn't that be cool? And then what I thought about is like, wow, you know, what if you did like you could use this like you could use a tower or you could use the ocean. You know, I, I did yesterday. I was talking about ghosts of the salt marsh, right? A marsh was the other thing that was kind of in my mind. Like when I did the one shot with uh, on one crit wonders channel, which was super fun. We basically had to tra- you know, traverse through a marsh. So that's a really simple setting that lends itself to certain creatures certain villains certain encounters like for instance you know in a marsh maybe you're gonna fight crocodiles maybe you're gonna fight giant crocodiles maybe you're gonna fight trolls or hags there are certain things that are going to be let's call it indigenous to a marsh as opposed to like the mountains you know if you're in the mountains maybe it's going to be things like i don't know uh you know Um, mountain lions i don't know or maybe it's going to be you know knolls and uh, hill giants stone giants that sort of thing i guess hill giants technically would be hills but 
if you're in the mountains and you'd be maybe stone giants would be more appropriate. But the point being that each kind of location, each kind of, you know, terrain, let's call it, might have, you know, two or three ideas that you can just slap together and make it a pretty fun, engaging and simple one shot. Right. And then on top of that, what I was thinking about today, because I think I'm going to do this. This is why I guess this is why it's in my mind is I've been feeling like I have this urge to like stream or to run and, and post some one shots. I've I haven't done that. And I think that might be a good way to get myself out there more in like streamland and like on Twitch and here on YouTube and all that kind of stuff. But that being said, I also would do a different format. Like typically if you've watched my videos, my format has pretty much been like voice with the roll 20 maps and stuff. But I would really like to switch and do more like this where you actually get to see our faces and then we're engaged with you like like you would see on most of the bigger pop more popular streams out there and so if i'm going to do it well what am i going to do and then this kind of sparked my thought and really i'm no joke what it was is i just happened to be looking at an image of the sphinx today and and a picture of the desert i'm like wow wouldn't that be a simple way to do one shots that was the the thought that popped in my head so i i had to share this with you because this just felt right like this just felt like what well, yeah this is cool so it could be a castle it could be a uh like an old statue it could be a, an old battlement it could be a tower right those are simple things to do and then you have a little more involved it could be a cave obviously caves are easy dungeon crawls are easy however i think a good thing to have with one shots is a little bit of nuanced flavor so dungeon crawls can be cliche can be you know it's not they're not for everyone i'll tell you straight up they're not for everyone at least that's been my experience i love them and I know others that love them, and I also know others that can't stand them. And so, I think this is this is maybe what I'm going to start looking at. So you know, and you could pick, you could do, you could run a series of one shots, and each one was in a different terrain. Like one is in the, the high mountains where it's snowing and crazy, or maybe it's just in the tundra, and another is in the desert, and another is in. The, the forest and another's in the hills and another's in the marshes and another's on the water and you get the idea right and there you go that's like a half dozen or a dozen one shots that you could run and you just theme them with monsters and encounters and situations that are appropriate to those settings there you go simple one shot simple one shot ideas knock yourselves out go out make some cool one shots and invite me to play <laughs> or or not just go have fun playing your own games because you know that's all it's about right and i thank you for being here i'll see you again tomorrow for another one i hope you had a great weekend and i want to wish you to have a great week and you know i'll see you at a table someday until then keep rolling 20s and remember it's your game play your way Oh my gosh, I did it in one take. It's been weeks since I've done it in one take. Woohoo!